A proton travels with a speed of 4.9 times 10 to the 6 meters per second at an angle of 62 degrees with the direction of a magnetic field of magnitude 1.5 tesla in the positive x direction. What is the magnitude of the magnetic force on the proton? And B, what is the proton's acceleration? So the equation's force is equal to Q times V times B times the sine of theta. Since we're talking about a point particle again, this, is, this sine of theta is with respect to the being parallel. So being parallel at this point would make, would make this term 0, and being at 90 degrees would make this term turn to, to 1. And so in this case, we're 62 degrees from being parallel. So you just need a couple of things. You need to know the charge on a proton. So the charge is 1.6. 0 to 1 8 times 10 to the negative 19th and you need to know the velocity it gives us in the in the problem and it gives us in SI units it gives us the magnetic field in SI units and then it gives us the angle with no ambiguity so you just simply take the 1.6218 times 10 to the 19th times 4.9 times 10 to the 6th times uh, 0 0.15 tesla times the sine of 62 degrees and you should get a force that's equal to 1.039 times uh, times 10 to the negative 13 newtons now what's the proton's acceleration so uh, that's simply the force divided by mass divided by the mass the mass of a proton is 1.67262 times 10 to the negative 27th and so you should get a large acceleration you should end with an acceleration of 6.216 uh, times 10 to the positive 13 meters per second squared and now although that acceleration isn't uh, completely unrealistic I don't think it, it I don't think it can maintain that for very long um, and this is just speaking on a side thing because the speed of light is actually less than than uh, 600 or 6.2 times 10 to the 13th meters per second and so although it can accelerate at this rate it can only do so for much less than one second and uh, but, or it would reach it would go past the speed of light in less than a second and I'll just ca caveat that with saying I think because I'm not a theoretical physicist so Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my blog. The link is down in the About section of this video. And on the blog, you'll find cool stuff like other videos for the same chapter. And you'll also find uh, little download links where you can download calculators to uh, basically just punch in your numbers and solve these exact problems. So you won't even have to watch the video if you don't want to. The last thing I want to say is if you leave comments on YouTube, of course I will get around to responding, but I'm much faster if you leave them at the bottom of my blog, right down there. Enjoy your day.